very breezy day across the area today. A live look. You can see we're looking over the quarter towards downtown. A few peaks of sunshine, so if you are headed out this evening, we do have some rain on radar, but most of the areas are dry. Take a look at these winds, though, gusting up to 26 on the lakefront, 18 over towards Slidell, and elsewhere seeing those sustained winds up to 20 at the airport. So very breezy out there, and any time we do have a strong easterly wind like this, we have to watch for a little minor coastal flooding. So that's why we do have a coastal flood statement uh, for all those shorelines pretty much uh, here in southeast Louisiana going over towards South Mississippi. Mainly those east shorelines during high tide is when we could see some minor flooding, maybe a foot above normal, but nonetheless a little bit of coastal flooding out there on radar. Most of the activity has been south shore, north shore. We're looking pretty good, but we were tracking some heavier downpours earlier right along Highway 90. This is continuing to move off towards the west, as you can see there at a pretty good rate. We're also watching some heavier downpours south of New Orleans. This is going to continue to drift off towards the west as well, so New Orleans where we're at looking pretty good at the moment. Maybe the heavier activity staying just a bit further to the south. You notice we've got some very spotty showers as well moving off the coast. That's going to continue to move towards the west as well. So rain chances, they're not zero this evening. If you're headed to any football games, I would take the rain gear just in case, but the rain chances will be dropping tonight. Only about 10% mid 70s to lower 70s, depending on where you're at. Now about going into tomorrow, another humid one, uh, pretty warm as well. Temperatures in the lower 90s, about a 30% chance of a shower or a thunderstorm and if you're lucky enough to get under one of those little storms, it will keep the temperatures down. So if you're heading to any of the festivals going on, well, I would pack the rain gear just in case. Now your football forecast, if you're traveling up towards Nashville, maybe Tallahassee or Nacogdoches, looking pretty good. Mid 80s, a lot of sunshine, pretty pleasant out there here back home, though. Southeastern hosting uh, Lamar looking like we could have a few showers, maybe a rumble of thunder, but mainly during the afternoon hours. I think by kickoff at 7 PM, we're going to start to watch the area clear out. And then, of course, we know in Seattle there's going to be a chance of rain and very pleasant temperature wise in the mid 60s. So that is expected over there on Sunday. Now the tropics. We are watching a lot of different things. We still currently have Jerry, a category one storm, but to the west of that, we actually have a tropical wave, very unorganized, but producing a lot of showers and thunderstorms just towards the south of the Dominican Republic. Very low chance this does anything because it has going to be fighting a lot of wind shear. Now southeast of Jerry, we have this tropical wave, big old area of showers and thunderstorms right here. It's going to be moving towards the Lesser Antilles Islands south of Jerry, and it's going to be uh, it's about a medium chance of development is what we're thinking right now. now now we're going to have to watch and see how these two interact with each other because that could play a part in the forecast right now. Nothing's in a threat to the United States, but it is something we're going to keep a close eye on. Of course, this tropical wave out of Africa or still in Africa actually has a high chance of development. This will more than likely be our next name storm, which by the way will be Karen. So, you know, we're looking pretty good here in southeast Louisiana. It is going to be very, very hot. It's much above average where we should be. We should be in the 80s this time of year. The rain chances are greatest tomorrow, but as we go into Sunday, Monday and really the beginning part of next week for the first day of fall, rain chances go down and of course, well, the temperatures are going to go up. Did you say Karen? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, because of the CBS special report of the president.